Okay, today we're going to be talking about how to align coordinate systems between an already existing project and um, now the correct coordinate systems. So the, the context here is we have a floor plan that is set up. Um, not sure how we got this floor plan, but essentially the zero zero for this drawing is miles away over here. Um, and in Revit, we have come in here and we've exported the same floor plan. And here we use the internal origins option. Um, so in Revit, you have two coordinate system options for your exports, one being internal origin and one being um, shared coordinates. Uh, I'm not going to get into the difference between them now. Here, we're going to be using the, um, th this was exported using the internal coordinates. And um, so we we have this, this job is already set up where everything is using the um, coordinate system right now that's got the zero, zero way off screen here. Um, we're going to change everything so that the coordinate systems um, are all set to internal instead, which is right here. And so the way that you can go about doing this in a quick manner is um, you come over here to this drawing and well, I, I take that back. We'll, we'll come into our, our drawing with the correct coordinate system. We'll do a copy base at zero, zero, and then we'll, we'll paste at zero, zero. And um, you can see here that I've just taken the corner of that column line. When I come back over here. I will now draw a line from zero, zero, and we will take it to that same corner point here. Okay. Sorry, there we go. Um, okay, so this is um, essentially if you wanted to move everything um, manually between each drawing, you would just do a move on that corner and you'd move it all the way to here, and then now you're on the same coordinate system. Um, yeah. Instead, we're going to be using a list routine to do this, and so um, the two lines that you'll need are the following, and I'll, I'll enlarge it here. So you'll do a ss git um, the x. Um, selects everything in the drawing and then this 410 model then restricts that selection only to model space because we don't want to move everything in paper space. Um, once we do that, it's going to save it to a variable called S1 and then we're just going to do a command, um, a move command on S1 and we're going to move it. Um, our first displacement point will be this coordinate and our second displacement point will be this coordinate. And you can um, find those coordinates um, in two ways. Um, you can see here kind of what I've done is I was able to get one of the corners and one of the other corners and the two commands that I used for that. If you do the measure command from here to where you need it to move it to, it will give you the delta. Um, delta is not going to help us in this case, however. Um, so it's given it to you down here. Um, instead, what I did, um, you can then also use the ID command. Um, I'm not sure if that is AutoCAD native or not. Um, that will also spit out the points, but instead what I did is I did get point in parentheses and that's a auto lisp command. And you just do that, you grab that point, it gives it to you, copy and paste that into your script. And then again, you just do that one more time over here. And now you have your two coordinate system points. Well, I guess, I'll take that back. Um, and now you have your two coordinate system points and all you need to do is throw them in here on this move command. Um, notice that I have this um, colon, uh, not colon, comma, ahead of the coordinate system, and uh, apostrophe maybe. <laughs> and the reason for that is um, this is a list, a list of coordinates. So um, just make sure that you have that in there to begin with. Hope this helps. This should get your models lined up so that everything's in the same coordinate system.